Welcome, my good friend. Hi, Sai. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. Excellent. Excellent. We're so, we're so very fortunate to get time with you. Uh, definitively, in, in anticipation of the thir uh, May 13th event uh, around rethinking women's leadership with the Women Business Collaborative and Andy Simon, and one of the key folks that I, I really, really wanted to to integrate the voice and invite the voice of is yourself. So I would love for you to introduce yourself and, and we'll dive in. Sure, thank you, Sai. Uh, so my name is Pedro Morales. I'm a, a director of software quality assurance uh, here at NextGen. Um, about a 20 plus year career, uh, probably the last, um, last half of it roughly has been in leadership in one way, shape or form. Um, and, uh, you know, outside of work, uh, I am uh, a father, husband, uh, uncle uh, to a lot of women in my life, uh, owner of uh, a female cat. Uh, so my house is full, <laughs> full of women. So I, I am constantly barraged by, uh, by women in my life. Beautifully expressed, and 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 <laughs> in so many ways, I have sim. I'm I'm in a similar place. I guess I'll put it that way. So sure. all around, all yeah. around, and, and definitely that's one of the reasons I I really really wanted to to invite your voices. You know, as you look at the landscape, as we talk about you know diversity of leadership, as we talk about equitability of of leadership and in, and inclusion and belonging. You know, what do you see in the world and, and what are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, we, we talked, Sai, uh, and I was excited to help uh, participate and kind of give a perspective here. And in the last little bit in prepping for our conversation, I've been thinking a lot about fairness. And I, I think I've, I've been thinking a lot about the impact of the different women in my life from, you know, growing up to, you know, my parents, uh, all the way up through my career and now with my family, my kids and, and my wife. And I think about, um, I've been centered on the word fairness and because of how, how I realized that me as a leader and the way that I try to deal with people and the way that I try to deal with situations is I'm very much about, I just wanna make sure that it's fair, right? Um, you know, I, I've said to people in the past, um, I don't, I may not necessarily treat everybody the same, but I am gonna be fair with everybody, right? And I think about in my life, how I've been impacted in a real way, right? In the way that I deal with uh, my career and my job and my interactions by the women in my life growing up. I think in a real way, how my daughters, I have three daughters who are now, uh, one daughter was already in the workplace, uh, two daughters that are in college, uh, my youngest going to college to start. Um, and I think I'm very hypersensitive about what happens at the workplace, how um, I'll say people are treated in the workplace, right? And and so, you know, my my background, you know, I'm I'm Hispanic, I'm Latino, and 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 I don't see a lot of um or haven't seen a lot of people like me in my career in IT. Um it's it's been getting better, but I I am sensitive to fairness, let's say. Mm -hmm. And even more so now because I have my daughters and my my wife and my you know my sisters and such and so that's impacted the way that I um, that in, in the way that I lead honestly right some of the best partners I've I've had at work have been women right like other leaders I've had um, bosses who have been female and they've been fantastic and so I, all of that kind of mold together have really impacted and look you know helped me look in a way that hopefully is a little bit more fair in, in how I'm dealing with people. I think there's a, a real message and even just the, the, the brief sort of introduction and, and perspective that you've offered is we all experience things around us and there's a reality out there, but it isn't real until it really begins to get personal in one form or another. Yeah, and, and I, I try as much as possible to be as open as possible yep um but you're right like <laughs> it becomes real when it's when when you're in it when it's affecting you um and certainly look my i at the end of the day my family is the number one priority right and and you know i think about you know how i make major decisions in my life right career wise family wise that doesn't happen unless i'm talking with my wife right mm -hmm. uh it doesn't happen if i don't include you know, my kids, right? Because they're older now, right? I appreciate their 
you know, their point of view on a lot of things. And, uh, and so, you know, I, I realize I have a lot to learn, you know, just in my own way, right, just from from people in general, I'm not that um, high on myself to know to think that I know everything, certainly, but um, my kids, my wife, super important in my life, obviously, but the way that I'm influenced in how I deal with people and how I'm I'm trying to work out a situation that might be best at work in the office. That's part of like, that's part of my um, decision making process is is what what is what is the impact uh, that I'm going to have, right? Direct or otherwise, it's it's uh, it's constantly on my mind. Definitely, and 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 you know the 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 counter to it is as we look at it, if, if reality is out there, it gets real when it gets personal. On the flip side of it, because we're active in the world, we're not passive. As leaders, it's awareness that allows us to engage from the opposite direction, and then yeah. you you have it coming from both sides. So, you know, as so th that backdrop that you've paint begun to really paint for us, you know, what are the, sort of the key learnings I'll say that you've experienced in your journey relative to all the the wonderful human beings in your world? Yeah. I <laughs> I think it's for me. It's you know I I I realize I'm being repetitive here. It is the fair, right? Like treat people fairly, equitably, because you know I've been in situations where um, even even hearing an opinion, right, from somebody. Uh, I I've, I remember a situation where I was in a meeting uh, in in a previous job, previous life. Um, very strong female who was on my team, super smart, very capable, was providing an opinion on a direction that we should take. And I, I remember this so clearly because the she her opinion was met with a lot of resistance. And I knew, I felt that I like that's the best direction that we should go. So I said, okay, maybe a few minutes later, I essentially almost word for word gave the same opinion. And it was like, oh, wow, what a great idea. That's fantastic. And it was so striking to me that, you know, it, it really was the same idea. And mm -hmm. just because it came out of my mouth and not hers, it was met completely differently. And, and I remember afterwards pulling a couple of people aside who were in that meeting that were um, people that I trusted and people that trusted me to say, like, what are you guys doing? Don't like, didn't you realize that that was so and so's idea? Like, that was that wasn't me. That was that was her. And I remember making a point in the meeting myself, saying, like, okay, that's great, but that's just so you know, that's not my idea, right? That's that's you know, so and so's idea. But I think it's just about being fair, right? Like in the way that you're hearing things and the way that you're dealing with people, and and so that becomes now when. When we're thinking about things like promotions, when we're thinking about you know um, salary adjustments or who gets the cool project or who gets you know who gets the perks, it's like you, you almost have to wipe all that stuff away. You have to wipe away like it, you know, really kind of deal with somebody on their merit as opposed to you know, okay, female, male, or or whatever. So it's it's just something that I am aware of. And 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 I and I think you you again you continue to point out some very very critical things, you know we how we experience other people how respectfully how we experience a strong male expressing their opinion uh, relative to a strong yeah. female expressing an opinion and and not only how we experience that very in specifically but it really was an act of courage for you to reach out to those folks and say hey it really you know what what were you thinking y yeah I think I think. It, that's all predicated on trust. Uh, yeah. And so it was a conversation that I could have with them. It is a little, um, it can be difficult, right? If you're, especially if you're dealing with people that you may not work with a ton or or whatever, it's not an easy conversation to have. Yeah. Uh, but I think the important part is that we need to make the attempt to have it, right? We need yeah. to make, in my mind, and this is me personally, I feel like I have to, I have to make it right, you, you know? Uh, and I I will always go back and think about, you know, my kids. I think about if they're working in the workplace, right? They're in an office or they're in a situation like who's going to, 
I think to a certain degree they have enough. Um, uh, I don't want to discount them. They 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 will for sure stand up for themselves. But I think everybody needs an ally, right? Yeah. And and even the little like the little things I think matter. And 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 I I think about them so much and how I deal with with people. And I've been very lucky, certainly in the last couple of years, absolutely here at Next Gen and the time that I've been here that we have some fantastic fantastic partners that I have that are that are women that are are, are just great right like they're great partners great to work with and I don't know that that has anything to do with them being women other than to say that they're just good at what they do um and it, I'm I'm lucky in that respect right yeah yeah I, I think exactly to your point and, and and a lot of the the themes that have emerged through a number of these conversations is you know look at look at what people contribute in a setting independent of the other factors and at the same time right be aware of your own biases and blind spots because they'll sneak up on you when you least expect it because we're all human at some level yeah i i've been i remember growing up as a kid with a very strong mom yeah. <laughs> uh, and um i have an older sister and a younger sister and i remember being wrong a lot <laughs> right and so by the time that i and and, tr and when i say wrong i mean like truly wrong. Like I had an opinion that was bad or my idea was wrong or whatever the situation was, or I just said something that was wrong, right? Right is left and left is right. And you know, yeah. uh, I was wrong. But my point in bringing it up is that later in life now, my career, I'm not as, I'm not as quick to be um, defensive when I'm being uh, challenged by really anybody, but when I'm being challenged, especially by being challenged by women, I've seen other men get very, very defensive, right? In those kinds of situations. I, you know, maybe it's like I've been beaten down enough to know, <laughs> right? <laughs> that, that I don't have all the answers, but I, it certainly has changed, right? It's impacted in the way that, in, in the way that I work for sure. Um, and, you know, my mom used to tell me all the time, she's like, you're a pretty smart guy, but there's always gonna be somebody smarter than you. Right, and she used to say every once in a while that's going to be a, a woman. It's not going to be a guy, right? There'll be somebody out there smarter than you, and so that's 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 stuck with me. Yeah, the the wisdom of our our mothers. I'll, 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 yes, all day, all day, <laughs> yes. man. Yes. <laughs> and and you know, very openly, the most pivotal force in my life has been my mother. I mean, very very openly, and and then as as the journey continued, one of my greatest collaborators has been my daughter. I mean, yeah. just very, very powerful. So I have learned to listen, if you will, critically listen, right? Great point. <laughs> yes. That's a good point. Because I know, at least, I don't know about you. I suspect maybe it's the same based on what you're saying. My kids will be very quick to tell me, you're not, you know, shut up. You're not listening. <laughs> yes. 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 So yes. Um, I, 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 I can... Um, I can sympathize. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And you know, I mean, as you kind of look at that, that the experience, the journey that you've been on, what guidance, you know, and what wisdom do you have to offer others in every aspect? Yeah, you know, we, we are, we live in a world now, certainly in my field in IT, right? That the population of people in this industry is changing just like it is everywhere else right and and that shift in demographics that shift in um even the 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 globalization really of like the workforce right we all we come in all different shapes and sizes male female um and and everything in between and so it it, it goes back to just treat everybody fairly right to be be mindful of your own, you know, personal bias, be mindful of, um, you know, that, that your perspective isn't the only perspective, right? And that, um, especially for, for a guy like me, I know that there's more to learn, right? And, and there's more to learn, obviously, from a technology perspective, that's always changing. But, but there's just more to learn about people, right? And, and as as we are getting more familiar and more comfortable in the workplace with diversity, with um, just uh, women in leadership, with um, just that overall, you know, dynamic, it, it's on us to really be 
um, open to to changing because they're going to be things that are long held like this is just the way that I do it and this is the way that I am that you it's just not going to work right you, there are going to be things that you're going to have to to modify and I truly believe if you want to be an effective leader you want to be an effective um, partner really is maybe the better word if you want to be a really good partner you got to realize that kind of stuff I think yeah yeah it, and and d definitively the word partner is at the root of so much relative to leadership and what we're talking about. And, and it does, it does require us to confront ourselves, to confront our nature, right? Really acknowledge what we're comfortable with, what we're not comfortable with, how far we can stretch ourselves. And by no stretch are these easy conversations, nor and conversation is one thing, right? But then put it into action and, and making it real. It, it, it's, it, it's awareness first. <laughs> action second right and yep. and it's being um you know i've i've had to have uncomfortable conversations with people that reported to me um men who've reported to me where i've had to pull them aside and said like you, do you realize like what like what you did or what happened that made you know a, a female person of our team like either uncomfortable or just somebody being dismissive or you know any of the other sort of laundry list I've, I've you know when you're a manager long enough you tend to have you, you end up having like all of the manager horror stories right yeah but um you know you, you gotta you have to be you have to have the courage to actually to do that because it's super easy to just be like right, that's just how it is we're just gonna yeah. leave it alone right yeah and it just you you gotta be able to to step up and, and really call call that stuff out yeah yeah, I, th I think that's a crucial message because if we all, if if no one if we all just shuffle challenges to the side, then nothing changes. And and yeah, that's very very key. Yeah, and 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 the other thing too, I you know, I was thinking about is, you know, making sure that you can be you can uh, be supportive, be an ally for somebody. But at the end of the day, we still have work to do, right? Yeah. So in the same way that I'm encouraging and, and wanting to develop folks that I work with or that work for me um, and wanting to get everybody, you know, to, to raise the bar. That also includes like all of the areas of improvement, right? Mm -hmm. And being, um, you know, being open to have those kinds of conversations with everybody and, and having them in a way that's fair to everyone, right? And, 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 and not not holding back because somebody's a woman or you know like it, it, it's yep you really have to be I me mean, tailor the message to the person right uh and 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 just so long as that's coming from you know at least in my my um idea here is as long as it's coming from a place of, of trust and honesty right and and is factually supported and all that good stuff you know then then you have to do that part too right yeah I, I think it's not just Hey, I want to encourage somebody and 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 be um not not be truthful, right? But that's that's both sides, right? Positive and the negative. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's very key because it, it, you know fairness is a is an inc is an incredible concept, is an interesting concept if we say it. But fairness within a specific context, there's a difference between how you're fair at home and yeah. how you're fair in the workplace, and yeah. all those facets have to be integrated and. And this is what great leadership is respectfully all about. I I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. I hope so. Um, you know, it, it really is. I've learned and continue to learn so much, right, about, you know, how we work and, and, and how to get things done and, and what what constitutes, you know, ultimately, like the, the environment, right? Like, how do we set the conditions on the ground so that everyone is successful? And, and everyone really means everyone, right? It's, it's making sure that you know, I, I say, I want to make sure that my people are happy, right? If, if the people that work for me are happy, then I know that I'm going to get good work out of them. And, and sometimes the, 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 the thing that is going to make the environment better is it it's it's a tough road to go down sometimes right and you, you gotta sometimes break break some eggs to make the omelet but you, you gotta have the courage to do it 
Yeah. Right. And, and I think if you are looking at it from, you know, it, it, it's all predicated on trust, right? If, if you look at it from that perspective and you think honestly about what you're trying to do, then it's all about, you know, th then you can just operate fairly and then operate in a way that's going to make it better for everybody. Well said, well said. And, and, and truly, if it was easy, as I like to say, it probably isn't us, whoever us is doing it, if it's easy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and, and what, you know, one question that I, I I'll, I'll throw this out there and I'm interested in your, your thoughts on this very, very specifically. Sure. When I meet leaders, especially for the first time, right, you're, you're trying to gain a degree of context and awareness. I ask a simple question of what do you struggle with? And just leave it that wide open, right? To that's see where question. the conversation goes. Yeah. I, wow, that's a big question. You know, th there's a couple of things. So one is um, being my own worst critic, mm -hmm. for sure. That's one. And just understanding that I, I know I, I don't have all the answers, <laughs> right? So... I, I kind of lead with that. Yeah. Um, and and I think that's driven the way that I've operated, you know, over the years. Uh, and so, uh, but I, I want to look at things in a way that says, okay, well, if those are the challenges, then w what is it that you're looking for then to kind of help those along, yeah. right? And that's where you start to figure out, like, who are your partners? Who can you trust? Who can you go to? Uh, and, and, you know, that's that's just been my my way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and thank you for that. And and definitively the reason I ask it in that way is because struggle is an opportunity to grow and an opportunity mm -hmm. to learn as much as it, as a challenge to grow and to learn. I mean, so it's it's both dynamics. And as we start our conversation with fairness, this is this gets to the root of the motivation of what's really happening. So I, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I, motivation is a good word too, right? Like what what gets you out of bed, right? And and frequently for me it's I got my kids, right? I got my wife, my daughters, uh, you know, my mother-in-law lives with us here at our house. So um, that's a driver for me, yeah. <laughs> right? When I get out of bed, I'm like, oh, that's right. I gotta I gotta do all of this for this, right? And it's, it's a much better feeling to say that than it is like, okay, I have to, you know, pay the light bill, right? It's more about like my, you know, my, uh, my kids, my family, um, you know, and, 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 and that whole thing. Definitely, definitely. Well, my good friend, we, we definitely want to respect your time. Any parting thoughts before we sign off uh, all around? I, you know, so I, I, well, first off, I wanted to thank you uh, for, for thinking of me to, to help you with this. Um, I always appreciate our conversations. Um, I, uh, I hope that somebody would get something out of this and that they kind of, um, you know, reflect on some of the things that I've said. Uh, for me personally, um, the fact that these conversations are happening, the fact that um, there is an outlet where you know you can have, you know, this free exchange is is wonderful. And so I I, I appreciate the work that you guys are doing. I appreciate the work that you're doing and supporting this effort. And and um, you know, thank you so much for including me. Most welcome, and thank you. And likewise, of course, this as as you and I know, this is a a, a deep passion and, and partnership with folks like like Andy Simon and the Women Business Collaborative amongst the numerous names that are there that are contributing. And uh, I think the community at large and all the energy that's manifested definitively is advancing us on all of us on every level. So thank yeah. you for making the time, my friend. 100% anytime. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Thank you. Take care.